I could not speak for day, but then my first words came out. Father, forgive them. The church was fully packed and it was 8.45 and that is time the blast took place. And I saw on right hand the fire and I saw people were screaming, crying, pieces, the church fully destroyed and the dead bodies. The four-year-old boy who lost his mother, he said, I don't love God. I don't love Jesus because Jesus took my mother. With great difficulty, we took this boy to the church and when he came, he spent hours in the place where our mother was. He showed to us. Here is the place. And later on, we were able to bring slowly him that God loves your mother and your mother will bless you. God will take care of you. That's how we try to bring people back slowly to the faith experience into the church. It took time for us to process of healing, accompaniment journey in faith experience, to tell that our God is not God of revenge, our God is God of love. My personal thing is, He saved us from a greater danger. If not this, there would have been massacre. The St. Anthony statue was just two meters away from the glass. But the statue has nothing happened. The cloth of the statue was intact and only a little blood drop was there. That gave a strong faith in me to live and to act with people to bring their lives back to normalcy. God gave a chance me to stand for faith, stand for the church, stand for the people. So it is a chance to experience God's love in the community and to share and to witness for it. I could not speak for day, but then my first words came out, Father, forgive them. They cannot destroy our faith because more than they are bomb, more than they are pepper, our faith is strong. We will come back and stand for that faith with the rosary, with the holy marks and with the prayer. That is our effort.